Hi there, and welcome back to Aid's Workshop. So, the uh, Stuart Models engine, we haven't done anything for a while. So I think in this video, we're going to do the cylinder end caps. The one on the back, which is basically a blanking plate, and the one on the front, which has got the threaded hole uh, for the gland, for the stuffing gland that takes the cylinder rod. So, let's get on, make those two parts. Uh, we'll see how long that takes, and if there's room to do a few more little bits, we will do that as well. So, enjoy, guys. So it's been a while since we did anything with the uh, Stuart Models engine. So we're going to make items 6 and 16. I think it's 6 and 16. Yes, 6 and 16. Which are the end caps for the main cylinder. So I've got the main cylinder here. Um, none of the holes drilled. Um, the end caps bolt on. One on one end, one on the other. One of them is plain with no hole through it. Um, obviously that's a blanking cap at the back of the cylinder. I um, don't know which way round it is, just holding it like this. But um, the other one has the centralised hole, which is obviously for the piston. Or the, not the piston, but the piston rod. There we go. That's the word we're looking for. So, um, as normal in these circumstances, I've got this piece of cast iron that was supplied. We're going to find out what it's like. It's a stock bar. I'm just going to touch on there. to give the lathe a good clean when I finish this get rid of all the cast iron but as with all these jobs first thing it's a sawn size on here I'm not expecting a skin on it but we're going to face it off there we go a little bit more I think Let's take a look. I don't know how much spare material I've got. One piece of material, and you can still see saw cuts in there. One piece of material, and I've got to get them both end caps out of this. And obviously if I save another bit of material, I'll be happy. So we're going to do the one without the hole first. Part that off. Then we'll reposition it and do the one with the hole. A little more. It's just set to zero there. Nice little chips. I'm only running at what just under 700 RPM. Okay, let's take a little squint at that. Okay, so that's cleaned up. So I've just been looking at the drawing. Um, the diameter when I made the cylinder for this diameter was an inch and 332 on both ends. And I'm actually about two thou under on both ends. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm about two thou under. The drawing of the end caps shows them at an inch and an eighth. Um, I was basically what I was going to do. <laughs> I, I'm sort of trying to forward think. I was going to make the caps the same diameter as the end of this, but as it turns out, they are larger anyway. So um, yeah, no problem. I'll just make them on nominal, and the nominal is shown as one and an eighth inch. So um, just a quick see what we got here. That's about an inch and three eighths, so that gives me plenty of meat. So, I'm going to do a clean up on the OD. Let's just do a touch. Right, I'm expecting a skin on here. So let's go 3 of an inch, I would imagine that's more than enough to allow for farting. Let's go a bit more. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, so that's just cleaned up the OD. Now, there's a boss on the centre, quarter diameter by a sixteenth deep of the face. There is an undercut, we shall do that at a later date. So, a sixteenth. So, I'm just going to change my DRO into um, Imperial. So, I basically want to face a sixteenth of this all the way in to a quarter diameter. So I'm going to leave this oversized. Yeah, about three eight diameter that'll do. So a sixteenth. Sixty two and a half thou. Just doing 10 plus steps. So I think I'm going to go to 60 thou. I'm going to leave a bit on. Just to bring this a bit closer to a quarter. Right, so I'm going to need to undercut this at 30 seconds deep. Just check my drawing, yes, a 30 second deep out to a diameter of 5 eighths. So, I'm going to have to make myself up a little tool for this, um, a bit of a sort of trepanning tool. It's only very shallow. Hmm. Okay, difficult to show, but I've got, uh, let me get, yeah, I've got a little trepanning tool in there. And um, basically, if I bring him over, I'm having to go handheld, guys. Um, if I bring him over, let me see if I can get it. I can touch the tool there, set a zero on my DRO. Okay, so that said, oops, I'm shaking you about, I do apologise. If I come out into this fresh air here, the diameter of that circle in the centre needs to be a quarter, and the distance from my zero into the undercut needs to be 94 thou. So I'm going to do that first, get a little area of 94 thou deep, and then I'm going to wind the tool in, in this direction, and keep taking cuts off that boss until I get it to quarter diameter. And then I'm going to work my way to the OD of the undercut to get it to 5 eighths. So I'm working in the blind a bit, guys. It's very difficult for me to get a camera shot around here to show you what I'm doing. I've touched on the OD. I know I need to go 94 deep. I'm just turning the OD of that quarter. That's 94 deep. Okay, so I want to get a clean up on that quarter diameter, so I'm just going to take another cut and set a zero on diameter. Into 94 again, there we go. Back out. Now the leading edge of this trepanning tool is square to the face, and it's about two millimetres wide. So it does chatter a little on depth. Um, but not greatly so. So, um, let me get a mic. Will a mic go in there? Hmm. I'll probably use a calipers just to get this quarter. Again, it is a decorative piece. Okay. So, we're looking for 250, 293. So, 43,000 to come off, 21 aside. I'll start with a couple of fives. Into 94, 5 thou again. Into 94. So I'm just reducing the diameter. 
of that little quarter spigot. Two six two six six. So sixteen thou. Now I'll go another five aside. Should be getting close. Let's speed it up a little. Okay. And it should be just a little bit left. Two, five, two. <laughs> Okay, so that was in the depth. So I'm going to wind out now. Going into 94 as I come out. So I've just touched the diameter on the outside, so I need to measure that now. Okay, 550. Uh, 5 eighths is 625. So, uh, good 50 out to come out of here. I'm just going to set a zero. Am I? No. Take another skim. 94. Let's just get another measurement in here. So this bottom face is now the depth as I've stepped out with the square face of the cutter. We're on 612. Uh, so 13 thou left to come out. It's going to be six and a half a side. So I'll come out five thou a side. Let's have a look at that. And into 94. I'm just going to run that tool back in to my original data, which was 15 here. Okay. So what we've got now is a step between this space and this space of so a sixteenth major face. There's an undercut in here which takes it down to 332 and that is measuring 249 and that OD is measuring 626. Okay we'll call that as the detail of the front face um, so next step is going to be the major diameter. So I'll go back to a standard turning tool. We'll pull him out. He's going to come in useful later on, I'm sure. Because the other part is, let's have a look. Well, it's similar. It does have an undercut. So, um, inch and an eighth overall we're looking for. And that's 1.366. So I'm going to take a hundred thou off it. Okay. Where are we? We're looking for one point one two five. 1.126 By the time I give them that a polish, we're there. You just touch the tool on the front face of that boss again, set a zero. I remembered I'd left a little bit on this front face, so I'm going to take that off now. Um, I think the figure I was looking for was 64 thou. And I did it to about 60. So. Okay, 
that's the fourth layer gone. Happy days. So that's the profile on the outside of the cap. Um, I think I want a little break edge on there. I think just perhaps. Let's just get a, I'll get a little needle file, I think, and do that. It feels sweet. And I'll do another one down here on the boss. Okay. Right, so that's all the profile that side done. Um, part it off now, and there is a step on the back, so I'll have to just see how much we need to part off. Seems to be behaving itself. DRO is holding on 260, so I know it's not pulling one way or the other. I'll have to go into the maximum depth that I can go on this tool and hacksaw the last bit off. We're good for a little while. And that's about as deep as I can go that's left a little nub in the middle um, well I can see it's less than a quarter diameter it's less than that diameter so, so having chopped it off I'm just putting it back up in the chuck got my little bearing pusher tool just to square it up that looks good okay so I did try holding it on the little quarter inch nub um, but it's only a 16 thick. I managed to scratch pass across it, which gives me a true face, a nice enough face to um, chew it up in this manner, as it were. Okay, so now that I've uh, screwed it up, I'll just tighten the chuck, and I've got a better grip on it now. So I know there's about uh, 40 out to come off this at least. Let's take a little scratch pass, we'll have a measure. Okay, I'm going to set a zero there. I think the size is 532, the thickness of this. 532 is uh, more, 60 something isn't it? Um, 156. So we're looking for an overall thickness here, a 156, and we have 184, so it's 28 thou. So 14 thou. Let's take 6. Okay, I'll take take it up to ten. Let's have a look. Up to eleven. I'm just going to check myself that it was five thirty-two overall. I'm pretty sure it's seven thirty-two over the whole thing, with a sixteenth on the other side. Yes, it is five thirty-two. Five thirty-two being one five six. I have that's one seven six. So twenty five will come off. I'm gonna do this in five five cuts. There's the first one. actually 15 off now and that's 20 
okay just going to set a zero there let's check that diameter or thickness i should say 155 five. i think we'll live with that okay so there's a step on here now um it is a 30 second deep and basically the diameter has to fit inside the bore of the piston which is five eighths isn't it it's been a while since i did that uh yes it is so um let's do this so 30 second we're looking at distance wise uh about 30 31 thou so i'm going to take a 10 thou in fact yeah i'll take a 10. we'll bring this down i'm going to leave it a couple of thou off that's 20. I'm just creeping down on this uh, 5 8 and my shoulder depth is a little bit a little bit under I'm getting very close to the chuck here so I'll take it into the uh, 30 thou and we're looking at a nominal 5 8 I'm going to uh, right that's 6 5 7 so I know I can go a bit more yet. Got about you know 30,000 to come out. So I'm going to take another 10 aside. So I put the piece of bar stock back up and I've just spaced it and set a zero. So I need a, a shoulder on here to leave a boss in the center of three six three eighths and i need to come back three sixteen so three sixteen one eight seven five so let's rough it down one point one two five we're there so i've made a decision not to put the holes in um I think I'm going to do that at a later stage on the mill. Just a couple of little uh, break edges on there. Just have a feel. Yeah, I'm going to do them on a mill at a later stage. I'll sort of break with convention a little. But yeah, I've decided against doing it at this stage. So, so I'm going to have a little experiment here. I'm going to do the back end of the cylinder first because that's not as important as the front end that's got the uh, the hole in it that got the piston rod coming through. So that just does fit in there. It's, you know, you've got to locate it right. Okay, so I've got the cylinder here in the base. Oh, I can't remember if I tightened it up or not. So what I'm going to do firstly, I'm going to use the wobble pin and I'm going to try and pick up the centre. I'm going to see where we get. So let me just come around the camera. Actually, we need to turn the power on to the mill and to the uh, DRO. Beep, beep. There she goes. Oh, I have done the mill already. Okay, so let's see where we are. I'd like to run the end of this wobble pin at about thousand rpm so i'm just going to eyeball center first um let's do it in y why not in fact there's a little bit of something on the end a little bit of swarf or something stuck on it okay got rid of that let's get below the level of that steam port should be about there so I'm going to go for the kickoff in X first. Oh, it 
touched. Let's do it again. I'm on an internal rad. Internal rad. So you can hear it. There. So in X. Zero. Enter. Okay. So let's go to the other side. And what I'm going to do is do this. Obviously, if this is off center, it doesn't really matter. Because I am going to pick up the middle, even though it's offset. I can hear it. Come on, kick. There you go. Okay, so X half and go to the middle. Oh, come on, middle, come on, middle. There you go. Unlocked. So let's do Y now. Well, this should be accurately in the middle of the circle. Or the ball. Dick, kick. I go Y zero. And go the other side and below the level of the steam port. Oh, too much. <laughs> So, uh, where was I? Yeah, Y half function. Let's go to the middle of it. Okay, let's lock Y. X is judged just a little bit. Now I'm going to redo X now that I'm right in the middle. Or theoretically right in the middle. Oops, too much. There. Put X zero. Put the other side of X. So even though I might have been offset. I found the theoretical middle based on wherever I was on the arc, even though I wasn't truly in centre. Now we'll just readjust this one now that Y has told me I'm pretty good. There. So, um, X, half. And I'm going to go to the middle, which is, I'm just going to lock the DRO. Zero. So, wobble pin method, I touched on somewhere near centre. It would have been equal about where it touched in relation to a circle. Um, found the centre, did Y again. And then I've done X again on that. So pretty much that's telling me that my spindle with a wobble pin is central about on that circle. So what I'm going to do is swap the whole setup over now to the coaxial and just see if I can fine tune that middle point of the bore. So, um, okay, it's metric. So, yeah. 0 0.05, I'm about 0 0.03 out. I think it's in Y. Bear with me, let me see if I can bring that in. Right, we're in the 10 micron range now. Maybe a little bit in X. No, other way. Come on. Oh, too much. Let's just loosen that off. Yeah. 
Oh, further away. I think I'm still in the way. Just like that. I'm still playing with this. Hold on. So each line on the clock is 10 micron. Nope. A little bit back. I'm making hard work of this at the moment. Okay. Looking just about half a division. Let's just try a touch more. Okay, I'm going to call that. Um, I'm going to set X and Y to zero on my DRO. And I'm going to lock them off. Let's just make sure. Okay, I'm going to call that good. So we're on the center of the hole. But yeah, um, less than 50 micron or 2,000. Uh, out with the wobble pin well that's about it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and as usual thank you so much for subscribing and we will see you all very soon cheers now